Hey guys, welcome back to my table. Um, this video, I'm going to be making a ring. It's been a while since I did some big, chunky ones. Um, these are some I've been working on. And what I like about these is this, they're whimsical and they're really fun to make. Um, what I'm going to be using is 12 gauge aluminum wire and if needed 24 gauge copper wire and some beads and the only limit on the beads is to make sure you have some that will fit the wire for this I'm going to use this brown so it sticks out a little more um, I've been using roughly two feet of wire per ring. I just love making these because, like I said, they're just big and chunky and just loads of fun to try and make and come up with. And there's no wrong no wrong way of doing these as long as the end product you come up with you're very happy with. Um, the first thing I do is roughly figure out the middle of the wire and then just wrap it around a form that you want to use for your ring size. And we want to have two bands to support the ring. So this will be the bottom of the ring here with the two bands. And then on top, you just want to cross the wires like so. So on top, it looks like you have three. And then you want to just somewhat lock these wires in. to each other so this is what you should have you got the twist on top and the two bands on the bottom like so and for beads just so there's a contrast to help make it easier to see I'm going to be using these clear beads I already have a few pulled out. <clears throat> and you just add them on to where you like to put them. So, on a bunch of them rings I did were two together. I just like how that looks. So you want to hold it so it's snug and then give it a hard bend so you lock the beads on there and then you just surround surround them beads and when you come around again I like to go underneath the first bend like so just temporarily take it off the mantle for a minute because see um, under here we want to wrong wire we want to make sure the wire stays under itself like so in fact get my nylon pliers here give it a little 
change and bring it together. And then I like going around a second time, sort of give it that fake bezel look that's holding the beads together. Just kick this one out to the side, like so. Now we just want to slip it back on the form. To make sure it's nice and level. Now for the top. Sorry if I didn't say. I'm going to make this the bottom of the ring. Or you can make the top. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which direction. Now for the top half of the ring, I have another bead here. You know, it's a slightly bigger. These two are 10 millimeters. This is a 12. And what I want to do is I want to make it so this wire comes around this way over the top for when we work on it. Just hold it as snug as you can. And do the same thing like you did with the two wires or the two beads. Just wrap it around. around a second time and now we'll go around again and then we'll come over the top of the ring So, we'll pinch. Keep it that stack look. And now, now we got the beads locked in. Now, just get whimsical and finish this the way you'd like or you think about. Let's see what we want to do here. Uh, I'm going to bend this up a little so when we come down, so and now we're just going to take a small piece of 24 gauge wire I like using the copper because it sticks out like a sore thumb <laughs> as I say but it just it gives it another little pop of color wherever so what we're going to do 
take a piece of 24 gauge. And it's, this also adds a little strength to the ring itself, where it won't separate as easy. And then tuck the bottom. tight, slide it up to where you want, trim the wires, And then what I do is I take my nylon plier and squeeze that down and it'll hold it in place. Now what we want to do with these two is I think I'll keep the length that are left. Just make sure you got your ends are flesh cut. Just so it doesn't look too ratty. And see here spiral remember when you're working with 12 gauge aluminum I always use the J nose to start it because you get a better grip on the wire Put back on the round form. Got the nice little coil on top. And now, let's see what we want to do with this wire. I think we'll do an overlapping coil here. Or swirl, I'm sorry. I think since we're, let's tighten this one up a little bit. Okay. 
sliding this one down. There we go. And there you go. Just made a little funky ring. Like I said, the possibilities are just endless. Um, you don't have to add beads, you know, just add different shapes of them. By bending the wire. But I hope this inspired you to make one of your own. You can either copy this one or come up with something even more zany. And like I said, the weirder I think, the better they are. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And until the next video, be good to one another. Bye bye.